Hello and welcome to the Temple of Tomes with your host, Indie Comics Jones. Today is March 18th, 2021, and this is episode 237. Today we're going to look at Edgar Rice Burroughs' universe, The Land That Time Forgot, and this arc is called Fearless. And we've got this nice action-packed shot here of, uh, boy, Liz and Kotan taking on some, well, at least it looks like one velociraptor, maybe. Um, <laughs> this, this depiction does not happen in this particular book. It may happen in the future. Um, but uh, nonetheless, oh, there's one behind him, too. I didn't even see that. But there's a lot of action in this book, nonetheless. Boy, I'm loving this. Um, it looks like it's a three-issue arc. And uh, I want to shout out to Mike Wolfer. Not only is the writer on this, but he did contact us in the comment section on the first arc, I believe, or the first issue of the arc, and let us know that these are all original stories. And they are actually being adopted into the canon of the Edgar Rice Burroughs universe. So uh, Mike's coming up with these storylines and they are being recognized as future or, or, or more addendums to the original The Land That Time Forgot. Now this takes place on the prehistoric, very primitive continent of, of Caspec and uh, or Caspac and there's a number of different tribes warring tribes and the action that takes place in this comic comic is relentless but first let's talk about some of the other people that worked on this uh the artist was Fritz Casas the colorist was Peria Pille the letterer was Natalie Jane and we get a nice little Nice little synopsis of what's been going on with this crew. This is not their first venture into this um, continent, and they're, they're back from war. The cover art is by Roy Allen Martinez and Priya, boy, Priyala Pila, Pile. I think that's the same color stuff here. And just want to mention that they do talk about that these are like radio broadcasts they are receiving from both Tyler and Liz and the artists is, are doing their rendition of the reports that they are getting from the jungle. So that kind of just adds to the total immersion of this comic. So if you'll recall in the last issue, um, Liz and Bowen had been, Tyler Bowen had been split up. Tyler had been captured by the Alus, not Maddie, Philippe, and Jesus, but the tri <laughs> the very <laughs> mean tribes that are are on uh, Caspac, the, the most vicious tribe, according to the storyline here. And they want to find out how how the um, Tyler's bang stick works, because they saw him use it earlier. So they've set up this special arena, and they have a small dinosaur here that uh, they're going to use as bait to get a larger animal to attack, and then they shove... <laughs> Tyler down into this pit to face off against this saber tooth. Looks like a saber tooth uh, cougar, maybe. I don't. I don't see stripes. So I'm gonna say maybe it's a saber tooth tiger. I'm not sure. Um, so he takes a shot at it. I'm not sure if he hits him or not, but it's it's enough to scare him away, and the tribe goes crazy. Um, they, he's not really communicating with them at all, the, as far as verbally, but just through hand motions, and suddenly. They get attacked. I mean, you cannot rest in this comic. Something's always happening. Something's always going on. And it's one of the other tribes, the Banlu tribesmen, um, have come out of the out of the jungle to attack the uh, Alus. And they've kind of surrounded Tyler here. But he does speak their language, so he's able to communicate him. They want to know the magic of the bang stick now after seeing it used on that saber tooth. Um, cat there. Meanwhile, Liz and Kotan have been cornered by Sheeta, and she's on this gigantic dinosaur, and she's telling them that she, they're trespassing, and the penalty is usually death, and the giant dinosaur is whipping its tail around, trying to knock them off, 
And she's saying, well, she's pointing out these eggs here, which is this dinosaur's eggs, and that one is, one is hatched and it's missing. And it turns out that it's that dinosaur that we're using to catch the saber-toothed tiger with, actually. So Liz doesn't really care. She says, enough of this. I have to find Tyler. And she just takes off. And she calls back to her friend, Kotan, says, you're welcome to help me as well. And so she just runs off. So they're just kind of ignoring this. I guess she's some kind of jungle princess. <laughs> and uh, meanwhile, the Banlu have gotten Tyler here. They want to find out how this magical bang stick works. and um, But they won't let him use it. They want him to just pick up a regular stick and use it. And then the Alu come back and start fighting again with them. They've, in the meantime, we've got Liz and um, Kotan in the in the jungle. They had heard the gunshot, and that kind of directed them the in the direction that the uh, that Tyler was in. So they see that the pistol is laying on the ground there, and the the other tribe, the Alus, are, are there. So in the meantime, we've got them the Banlu climbing up to attack the Alus who are throwing rocks down at them. It's pretty brutal. I mean, there's like spears being thrown through them and uh, rocks being crushing, crushing people. As you know, there's a spear, nice spear shot, just on and on, really cool. The girls decide to attack, pick their, they pick their spots, they're fighting. Um, they're not doing so well at first. She gets, um, Liz gets knocked back and an Alu attacks Kotan straight on, but she's able to spear him and knock him down to the, the pit below where Tyler's fighting one at the leader of the Banlu. So in the last, when things look pretty desperate, things are going badly, um, suddenly Sheeta shows up with her gigantic dinosaur is able to start an avalanche and, and drop it down onto the Banlu below Tyler gets out of the way, and it's just him and the leader one-on-one -on -one now. But he doesn't. the leader doesn't get very far as Liz just puts a bullet right in his back. <laughs> so so the, mo the mother dinosaur is reunited with the, reunited with the baby dinosaur, and they all kind of have a nice little chit-chat, introduce each other formally, Liz is back with Tyler, but not for very long because she goes to get his rifle and this other creature, humanoid creature, grabs Liz. And so we're <laughs> they're kind of back where they started, but at least Tyler has Kotan to help him and maybe even um, Sheeta might show up again in the next issue, which is to be the conclusion. So it is a recommend. Really been loving this. The, the immersion on this is just tremendous. The action is par none. There's always something going on, something out to look out for. Um, so yes, it is a recommend. Now, uh, we got a preview for the Monster Men. Now, I've reviewed all three of these uh, issues already on my channel, and I believe I did a fourth that was a zero issue as well. Those were all recommends. Monster Men is a great read, kind of science fiction, um, Kind of Indiana Jones type stuff. Really cool. A um, little bit of a uh, little bit here. Not really showing too much action because there's a lot of narration and exposition going on here. But basically, we've got the main monster man. He was supposed to marry Virginia, and instead she vo married married this guy who's been following Virginia all around the world, trying to catch up to her. It's a long story. But that's the main grist of it. And we get a few pages here, some of the action. But um, that was a good, good, very good arc. Then we have Zorro in the Land that Time Forgot. And that's a Mike Wolfer. Carson of Venus. Here's a collection of these. I've reviewed some of these on the channel as well. The Moon Maid. We did the, um, the Mike Wolfer cover or this issue as well a few weeks ago I believe and Pelkidar um, I don't know if I've done any of this one yet um, but if I do see it at my store I will certainly buy it and let you know 
Zorro versus El Hijo del Muerte, guest starring Lady Zorro. This actually looked really good. I haven't seen it. Um, it's a four issue miniseries. It's Zorro Galleon of the Dead. I they, there was a preview in one of the comics, and I did enjoy it. So I wanted wanted to get this. So I might have to order that one specially. And uh, then we have like at a a uh, looks like a Halloween Beware the Witch's Shadow Winter Special. Well, we're almost out of winter now, but um, maybe you can catch that one as well. Okay, well that's my review of. This American mythology production of Edgar Rice Burroughs' The Land That Time Forgot. Arc name is Fearless. Three issue arc. We'll hopefully get the third issue soon. So if you haven't already, um, please like, please subscribe, please leave comments. Also, one last shout out to Mike Wolfer for uh, letting us clear something up on, on one of the questions that came through the comments last time. And we'll see you next time at the Temple of Tomes. And this is Indie Comics Jones bidding you adieu.